Oh, nice. Our dudes were already there. Easy peasy. Uh, ooh. Diplo rep. I definitely want Diplo relations because this has been killing us. It might also make it so that people leave the coalition against us. Definitely potential for that to happen. Um, Britain's at war with people, but they're still gonna join. Portugal, Bavaria, and Prussia will join us. Najd entered the coalition, that's pretty awkward. As long as the Ottomans don't join. Speaking of that, do they care about... Yeah, they don't care about the land in Kargali, so that should be fine. Should be fine to take it from them. Eighteen years left. Eighteen years to get 2100 development. I just don't think that that's going to happen without... Well, the autos are no longer at war with Russia. And at least one of our generals died. Now I don't have to worry about having too many generals. Uh, what can we convert? There we go. It's actually beautiful. Being over 100% absolutism. Or religious unity. <laughs> Wish we were over 100% absolutism. That would be wonderful. But we could just start declaring on like random people like Lithuania, Scandinavia is back, Holstein, Prussia, Bavaria. Oh, Russia's allied with Lithuania, so we could not declare on them. Could not. Well, we, wait, are they allied with QQ? So if we declare right now, then we could just stack wipe that real quick. I really wish people would join us against the Ottomans. If they, if, if they would, I would definitely go for it. I don't think that they will. Well, actually, I know that they won't. Um, so we'll call on everybody against Kargawe. Um, mostly so... Oh, wait, Liege has guys right here. I don't want to have our stack get caught drilling. Mostly just so that they'll mop up Liege for us. Um, I mean, I guess we could move there. Um, we can send this army straight for Liege's capital. Go ahead and piece them out nice and quick. Maybe get a bunch of money from them, actually. Uh, in general, we just want a really quick war, though. Yeah, let's call everybody. Let's get these guys marching to the capital, which is here. Wait, did Liege not join them? Looks like they didn't. The British did, QQ did, but yeah, Liege did not. Unless they're gonna join late, but I think they would have joined by now if they were going to. Okay, so we don't actually have to worry about that then. So that's nice. It helps at least a little bit. We're going to be eating a lot of attrition here, but we actually have plenty of manpower for once in our lives. For, like the first time this playthrough, I'm pretty sure that we've actually had a good amount of manpower. 
This is a great song for being at war. <laughs> guys there um, these guys can just resume drilling for the little bit that it'll do visit from some shady people well we don't need spy network construction so, I'm not going to worry about that. Almavari is actually getting big. Big-ish. If you could call it that. Um, we should split this army and take a few of these British provinces. Britain out of here as quickly as possible. Although they probably won't leave just because we're not going to be able to touch their capital. So they have just Great Britain has 192 heavy ships. Just Great Britain. Ooh, chocolate imports. Yes, manpower recovery speed and other goodies. I would love that. Oh, Portugal's the boat. It's good with me. Ooh, can we catch these guys in Rukawa? 50%. Yeah. Let's get there. Should be an easy win for us. That may help get Britain out of here. Goodbye, British army down here. May you rest in peace. Actually, don't rest in peace. Great Britain's been a really big thorn in our side. So I actually don't care if they rest in peace. It's been extremely annoying this game. Just guaranteeing all these people that we want to fight constantly. Just constantly guaranteeing them. Wait, did it just start the same song? When General got shot in the face again while drilling. Feels bad, Mr. General. Is that this guy? Yep, that was that guy. Don't even have enough mill power to recruit a new general. These guys are going there, yeah. And where are these dudes going? Uh, we'll upgrade unit types after this. I don't want to upgrade unit types in the middle of this fight. Or in the middle of this war. Nice! We won the technology cost parliamentary debate even without really spending much on it. So that's handy. There's no way they're ever taking peace. Minus 37, so we'd pretty much have to wait for their war score to, or for their, for the war to tick longer. Much, much longer. I mean, unless anybody is... Oh, they're going in on Britain. That's ballsy. This is like the Spanish Armada, only in 1805 rather than in... I don't know, when was the Spanish Armada? Whenever it was? I don't remember. I should really remember that, I feel like. As a dude that liked history a lot. We could call Russia in. <laughs> well, I don't think we need you, Russia. 
Appreciate the offer though, my dudes. Where did that army go? They're just gonna be chasing these guys into oblivion. That's what it seems like. Probably just gonna come back and cut this army off. I'm just glad the AI is gonna handle all this colonial nonsense over there. I really just don't feel like dealing with it. Ooh, we can repay loans though. That is wonderful. We're catching up on loans, only two loans. Ooh, his army just split. Feels bad, QQ. Feels bad, man. Not really, though. Hopefully gonna catch these guys. Uh, do we have rebels that are independence for Fulo? Well, that's over in Timbuktu, isn't it? Fulani, never heard of them before. Is this guy outrunning me? Even with forced march on? He's going s oh, because I'm not moving. That's why. Uh, let's see, what do they give us? They'll give us one province. <laughs> Does have 17 development though, so that's something, right? And Liege just dunking on Ethiopia. Oh, there they went. Our homie is going to be able to siege. Oh, they're sieging down QQ right now, so that's actually good. So we can piece them out. Great Britain could potentially leave in the long run. We might just stay in this war for a while. Um, it's not like it's costing us anything. Yeah, we could even go ahead and upgrade our units. What do we want? What's the most offense? 11, 12, 11, 12. I think we go with Napoleonic. Okay. So those guys are just running back to defend their capital. Uh, these guys can just come chill over there for now. As soon as QQ's capital is gone, we'll piece them out, probably just for money. We could take this land, but defending it from rebels would be, like, actually impossible. We would gain 15 army tradition. To 59 army tradition now, almost 60. Uh, the autos just joined, so we're definitely calling Russia now. That's a thing, okay? So, this is probably the war for the game, then, <laughs> honestly. Um, all right, well, I'm going to go back to three. Um, with Russia on our side, Great Britain basically neutered because it's going to be hard for them to land ships. Hey, what's up, Joe? I think we actually can win this. We have manpower to blow on it. All right. Well, that just made things very interesting that the Ottomans joined. Holy cow. So the stakes just went through the roof. What are these forts? Eight, eight, eight. Ugh. We'll let the AI siege those. We're going to come down here and push this area against the autos, I think. This is when I wish I could play uh, his man gone insane. Oh, let's get the QQ out of here while we can. Um, 
No, we don't want that aggressive expansion. There'll be so much aggressive expansion, right? Yeah. Let's just take their money and the war reps. So they're out. Um, and if we can peace out England at some point during this war as well, that would be pretty sick. We also should recruit like a whole nother army. Uh, we have money, we have manpower, we're nowhere near our force limit. So uh, let's make a template. I go 20. Wow, we cannot afford that by any means. We take a loan though. Oh, that's because it's mercs, derp. I don't mean to be recruiting mercs. Da, 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 da. 22 and 20. 20. There we go. So we can afford that template name. Pew Pew. Recruit it up there. That way hopefully none of them get sniped. Um, gain inflation for admin power, that's fine. Uh, we have papal influence, let's get manpower recovery speed, we're gonna need that. Turn off forced march there. Oh, the Ottomans have dudes down here, a lot of dudes down there. Um, so we're actually gonna want these armies to fight that. We're at 30, they're at 30, yeah, okay. Well, is Timbuktu actually gonna win that? No, Timbuktu's not. At least the Ottomans don't have Wanpur and all their other homies. Kinda goofy that they intervened there. Um, Let's see, 52k, 56k. Let's see if we can cut off this 52k stack. Hoping things are gonna be looking good over here for our friends. What's Russia up to? Hopefully Russia's doing good things or will be doing good things. This is the stack that we probably want to target, actually. Tiny little 12k stack. Oh, they're gonna be guarded by the 56k stack. Oh, maybe not. Uh, hills. Hills plus a river. We wanna defend there. Wow. Plus 0.30. Um, well, it's too late to cancel that fight. We're getting there June 24th. They're also getting there June. Oh, we're getting there June 21st. So they'll get the minus roll and a crossing penalty two maneuver three maneuver. So hopefully we win that. And if we forced march, where are these guys going? Shaga, we might be able to catch them. Have to play this well. Apparently we're still gonna lose that fight. Huh. Maybe not. I mean, we lost the fight, but 18,000 manpower. Unfortunately, our homies did not arrive in time. So, we lost an extra 4K manpower. I'm gonna let Timbuktu reoccupy their own stuff here. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the other Ottoman army is not turning around. Because if it's not, we can wipe this no problem. Please wipe that before the Ottomans come. Okay, thank goodness. Thank 
goodness. Uh, there's a Great Britain one out yet. No, not even close. Uh, is this army ready to go? They're getting there. Our 50k stack is marching over. The Prussians are just being space marines over here. Let's watch the space marines just kill everything. Oh, another Ottoman stack wiped. Here we go. This Ottoman stack's about to die. Well, maybe not a stack wipe, but they're getting slaughtered. I should probably be actually doing other stuff while watching the space marines just gun everybody down in the mountains. Um, like moving this army somewhere useful. Uh, let's see, jungle with a river crossing. That seems like a fine place to defend. Let's see. Hopefully, Timbuktu will take back all of their own do all their own provinces. Uh, the British army actually landed over here. Uh, are we max leaders? We are at four of four. Wow, maneuver. Six maneuver on our king. But none of these British armies have uh, generals, so that's a good thing. Uh, the Ottomans are actually pushing in here. Two maneuver. Who's our best general? Probably this guy. I think we just let this fight happen, though. <laughs> They're gonna win even with minus crossing and terrain. Uh, hopefully it means they take a lot of casualties, though. They actually... <sighs> even with that, we took a lot more casualties. Well, not a lot more thought that that would be a much closer fight. Apparently not. That stack's super dead. How did the, um, did that Prussian stack end up getting wiped? I assume it didn't. Maybe it did. It couldn't have. There's no way. There's no way it got wiped. Oh, it's down there, I think. I was about to say, yeah, there's no way it got wiped. Alright, let's uh, hop in here on Great Britain. If we can just camp the English Channel with an army. We should be able to pretty much catch them as they're landing. Uh, it's not going to get stack wiped out there. Okay, no, he's not chasing us. I was actually kind of worried that they were going to try to chase us down. Alright, minus one British stack. This should be minus a second British stack. Yep, and this should be minus a third British stack here in a second. Uh, what idea can we take? Uh, we don't want to take any of these ideas, I don't think. Well, the years of separatism is pretty good. Might want that, actually. 1806. Oh, Prussians are going in. Oh, minus another British stack. And another one. Thank you for the... Wait, we just got 15 army tradition for that? Is that right? Or is that 1.5? That was 15? Is that a bug? That's not a bug, right? That was like an insane amount of army tradition. All right, Autos, you are medium enthusiasm. So they're probably gonna want out of this pretty soon, but I don't wanna let them out until they give us something for it. We need to take some of their land somehow, both, well, mainly because if we take a bunch of their land and force them into a long peace treaty, then they won't be able to declare on us again. All right, are you gonna, gonna transport any more dudes? Should keep an eye on it if they're going to. Catch them while they're landing if we can. I uh, don't wanna push into that on our own. Friggin' 
Prussians just in there, man, just slaying. Just killing everybody. All these freaking Ottoman dudes. Slaying them. I need to play Prussia one of these days, man. <laughs> All these British troops just sitting on the shore, can't do anything. Oh, poor dudes. Feel so bad, not. Don't feel bad at all. Start moving these guys up. So I really want to take Cairo from the Ottomans. That's going to be pretty hard to get, though. I think we're gonna. They're gonna have to be at low enthusiasm for sure in order for us to be able to take that from them. Which if this keeps up, they will be though. I mean, we're, we're just crushing them. Thankfully, finally things are turning around on the autos. Uh, are the British trying to land over here? Doesn't look like it. Let's reinforce march off there. Oh, they're gonna land somewhere. Maybe they're transporting troops up here or something goofy. Also, just need to keep an eye on the date, though. Oh boy. Um, wait, what is that? Wait, you can you can click on an army. How did that work? Do we even want to come in here, though? Um, farmlands. I think we do. Not actually sure. I guess we don't. Too late now. Alright, let's get out of there. Um, it wasn't a terrible fight, though, at least. In terms of casualties and whatnot. Especially because we have manpower to mess with. And we just want to kill Ottoman enthusiasm for the war. Hopefully means Russia, like all of this Russian and Prussian invasion. Oh no, lose 64,000 manpower. No way, we have to lose the professionalism. Right? There's no way we can lose that much manpower. That's like all of our manpower that we had to play with would just be gone. How close is Great Britain? Minus one, so Great Britain will actually leave soon. Let's keep it going. Keep the war effort running. We have actually like no rebels right now, so that's pretty wonderful. Is Timbuktu really not gonna take back their stuff? Am I gonna really have to recruit an infantry squad right there just to help them reoccupy their provinces? It's pretty awkward, man. Um, where do we wanna fight? Are there any rivers over here? Not really. It's like a hundred and something thousand dudes. So we're definitely gonna need to wait until we get our reinforcements up in here. All right, so Great Britain will leave. Let's get them the heck out of this war. So that's minus one enemy. So it's now Kargawe and the Ottomans. The Ottomans are at medium enthusiasm already. Nice, glory to us. Yes, slay the Ottoman menace, my friends. Especially you, Prussia. About a million fights going on over here. Oh wow, that Russian army just got slaughtered. I just like watching fights, even though there's not really much to see. I hated it at first, because like when you first start playing this